An A's coach apologizing for this gesture that looks like a Nazi salute, but are fans buying his explanation? KPIX 5's Andrea Borba is live in Oakland where the A's manager discussed the controversy just two hours ago. Andrea. Yeah, it was the first public statements that were not just statements given by PR representatives. It was the manager of the A's, Bob Melvin, speaking about the incident from yesterday's game to reporters. At the end of the Oakland Athletics victory over the Texas Rangers, bench coach and former A's outfielder Ryan Christensen raised his arm not once but twice in what appeared to be a Nazi salute. A's manager Bob Melvin addressed it this afternoon in a pregame virtual news conference. I did not see it at the time, and I saw it later. And, you know, <laughs> Ryan Christensen is fully supported by everybody in our clubhouse and they know who he is, so do I. So obviously it didn't look great, but that was not his, his intent at all. Uh, I know that for a fact. Christensen himself released a statement. I made a mistake and will not deny it. Today in the dugout, I greeted players with a gesture that was offensive. In the world today of COVID, I adopted our elbow bump, which we do after wins, to create some distance with the players. My gesture unintentionally resulted in a racist and horrible salute that I do not believe in. What I did was unacceptable, and I deeply apologize. At Jack London Square, A's fans were not entirely buying the denials or apology. I think when people do it, they are re revealing their underlying prejudice. So knowing that, he should be fired. Christensen remains with the A's and has not been fired or suspended. Bob Dorfman, sports marketing analyst and creative director of Baker Street Advertising, calls it a mistake handled the right way. Speaking as both a Jew and as somebody who worked with Ryan Christensen when he was on the A's back in 99, uh, he's an upfront guy. This was an accident. Uh, it was stupid. It was absent-minded. It certainly wasn't intentional. So, Andre, we've heard from the coach, we've heard from the A's manager, but how are the players responding to this, or have they? Multiple players at Juliet have come out and spoke in support of Mr. Christensen, saying that they know that this is not in his character, that he is, in fact, overly professional in the dugout and in the clubhouse, and say that they support him 100%. All right, Andre, thank you.